beautiful day here over in what we would call paradise. A couple of little things that we'll cover while we are barra fishing. We're into a few barras here. Couple of little pointers I'm just gonna quickly cover off. First things first, if you're cruising along out on the water and you leave your leader outside the rod tip and there's a bit of a leader hanging out the back and you just let that go, that will spin the absolute bajingas out of your braid. So what I highly recommend, pull that braid down, bring it down to about the reel, then pull it in, do a few wraps like this, upstream, away from your reel, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 times, whatever you wanna do, pull it back down towards the reel, Put a bit of pressure on that and there you go that guy is nicely stored with pressure on the rod tip good to go later on in the program when we get into the river where we're going to need that guy for something different a couple of other little pointers i'll give you what i do is when any of the rods that i use have either a bait keeper like this so a little keeper at the bottom here you can hook a lot of people will traditionally hook the bottom hook in and off they travel. That then just bangs around like this, like you got nobody's business and smashes into the rod. What I prefer to do is always go on the top treble. Go the top treble and that way, any of the bouncing is restricted for any of your travel up and down the river. When you're gonna go on the long road home, like what we do here on Groot Island, two hours, snip it off, whirl it up and good to go. If you're fishing <coughs> with a split ring heading off to your Barra Classic as we've done here. It's a shallow running bar Barra Classic 2. It's got a split ring, it's got a pivot point. So the lure is gonna work quite naturally there. I'll just tie a union knot straight down to that split ring. The, work, the lure there will work perfectly. On the interim in between, no worries, good to go. Leave it like that, no dramas with that. But when you're using a soft plastic, we're using a little squidgy here. This is where you've got to go with a little loop knot. Got to go with a loop knot. It's got to need that movement there to spin around. Any of those little soft plastics, you need to use it so that the lure can move naturally and freely through the water. There's a couple of little pointers. Highly recommend you take any of those on board wherever you can use them in your fishing, not only in the barras, but anything out even on the blue water or anything in between. Let's go and get a few.